how this magical 4D generation system should work in theory is you as the user input something, the developer defines how that's controlled, and then the Roblox Cube 3D generation technology generates the actual geometry and textures for your thing. And then it is placed into the world where you as the user can interact with it, have a bunch of fun. And then I, as the developer, would take all my existing code that says, OK, the car has four wheels, it has a body, it has a steering wheel, uh, it has lights at the front and at the back. And then I would give that to the Roblox generation algorithm that would take my constraints on it. Like, OK, the car obviously can't take up the size of the map. Uh, it has to not have a million triangles because my game is meant to run on low end devices. And then combine that with the user's input to give them, you know, the, the rainbow cat car they've always wanted. Overall, not completely magical 4D generation, definitely a lot of developer handholding still going on, but a very interesting and surprisingly visually cohesive feature they're adding.